What we want to know is, are you as a developer tasked with security? And how important is security to you? Because right now, they're very siloed. And what we want to do is enable you as developers to actually not have to pass that software on to a security uh, developer. So we'd love to kind of hear some feedback. I will go around the virtual room. Uh, uh, how about Daniel Geiger first, if you don't mind? All right, Daniel, come on, you got to talk. Before I was uh, going to poke you, uh, <laughs> you got to say something. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't, don't know much about the topic. Sorry. That's okay. Well, um, thank you for unmuting. Um, from there, we will go on. Um, R. Bowers, would you mind providing your feedback on, uh, you know, DevSecOps and whether you think that that's a growing field? And then also in terms of your responsibilities. You know, historically, developers develop software and pass it off to security. What we're looking to do is enable you to actually manage security from the ground level up. Yeah, I have to um, basically provide audit and logging to a security team. So they have a, a basically want to either see files that they have to be able to scoop up or I have to send them into a, their system. So that is really interesting. Um, so audit is something that you are, are tasked with, it, at least enabling the network so that you can you can pull all of that information. Janaid, would you mind speaking a little bit about one of the really big you know value props of XQ? Every because we split every data packet into smaller packets, and um, every time that data anything happens to it, it's logged. And so from a compliance and audit perspective, we really are um, providing a lot of value to you know, various different regulatory bodies and auditing bodies. Janine, could you speak a little bit more about that? Yeah, uh, if you saw Brian uh, flip through his screens, uh, you, you may have missed it that one of the things he showed was uh, that every transaction is logged from a zero trust perspective. So zero trust is a very specific logging model. It's a... Uh, uh, NIST 800, uh, I think it's 171, uh, which says you have to show where's the data encrypted, who is who did the encryption, who wh where's the data gone, uh, how many attempts were there to unlock the data, so that that is the zero trust model, and it's a little bit different than the standard kind of logging that you get with Splunk. So XQ has uh, integrated that into the uh, engine itself so that you can't actually do something without it being logged. So instead of like doing things and then worrying about it being logged <laughs> and is it logged or not, it's kind of fully integrated in. So one of the um, goals in developing a zero trust stack is to actually simplify the uh, compliance part. So that is no matter what you're doing, uh, whether it's an accounting program or a smart energy, uh, even if you don't need the, the uh, compliance level logging that is actually built into zero trust. So one of the things we're trying to do, and again, it's a developer concept, is to say, you know, we're, we're not just trying to catch up with the people who make boxes. My software, whatever my software is, whether it's an accounting software or video software or space communication software, it's got the full stack of uh, features to support uh, uh, regulations and compliance built in, right? It's this notion security is built in or secure by design, not just the cryptography, but the compliance. And um, that that's the kind of thing. So one of the things we're looking for as we work with developers, and as Brian showed, all our tools are, uh, XQ tools are online for free. So, you know, I'd encourage after this call for you to poke around. And the idea is that we'd be having another one of these uh, calls in a little while. And, and hopefully if the group wants, they can be on a regular basis where things you like and more importantly, things you don't like, you share with everybody and then we just get better and better, right? As a team and we, we just make zero trust more integrated. So uh, hopefully that kind of makes sense. Uh, thanks Kelly for putting me on the screen.